A high confidence trade setup can actually take several different shapes and sizes. For example, a three wave decline in an uptrending market, that's actually one of my favorite trade setups. But you can also have technical trade setups based off indicators or oscillators. One of my favorite bar pattern trade setups is that of a double close key reversal, which we'll be discussing in just a moment. A double close key reversal is a reversal pattern that consists of three price bars. Now the diagram in front of you, actually I show you a bearish double close key reversal as well as a bullish double close key reversal. Now here's the actual reversal bar. Notice it makes a new high above the prior bar, yet the close is below the prior two closes. This is just a classic double close key reversal, but it also incorporates an outside bar because the reversal bar is also an outside bar. So you could properly term this a double close key reversal outside bar combination. Now the reason we refer to it as an outside bar is that the high of this bar is above the prior period's high and the low of the bar is below the prior period's low. Many times this very simple three bar pattern can introduce some very significant and sizable sell-offs. Conversely, we have the same pattern to the right, but this is the bullish version. Notice we make a new low below the prior bar's low, yet the close is above the prior two closes. Also, your reversal bar is an outside bar. This is also a bullish double close key reversal outside bar combination. For a very simple pattern, I think it's highly effective and does indeed introduce many high confidence trade setups. For example, if we just go back and look at a few price charts, here's one Barrick Gold uh, Corporation, ticker symbol is G-O-L-D. If we go back to earlier this year, we can see that the low right here back in what was that uh, May, we saw a bullish double close key reversal outside bar combination. And then that led to a very significant advance in this issue. We can take a look at another stock. This is Sirius XM Radio, ticker symbol is SIRI. Notice that the high of the year that occurred in 2018 did so on a double close key reversal outside bar combination. And from that point, it was steadily down for a number of months into the low that we saw earlier this year. Now here's a price chart that many of you might be more familiar with. This is Roku, ticker symbol is ROKU. And I've identified a number of the double close key reversals which have formed this year and last year in this stock. Notice we had one here, significant decline. We saw a very significant decline off the one that occurred back in October of 2018 into the low here. And then we see some smaller ones. And this is why I think it's important to stress, not all double close key reversals introduce sizable sell-offs. This is one here, which actually gave, gave way to a very small decline and then a reversal higher in price. Nonetheless, I think this is a very potent bar pattern and one that I focus on quite frequently in Trader's Classroom. Well, as you can see, a double close key reversal does indeed introduce some significant price moves. Now, not always, as you saw, but in many cases it truly does, which is why it's one of my favorite bar patterns. Now, part of the reason I'm actually discussing this specific bar pattern today is because on October 16th in Trader's Classroom, I'll be discussing a specific stock where a double close key reversal has recently formed on the monthly chart level.